Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to resolve Netgear Extender not working or Netgear Wi-Fi Extender not connecting to the internet or Netgear Wi-Fi Extender not showing up in the Wi-Fi. So if you follow the steps mentioned in this video, your issue with the extender will surely be resolved and it will start working just fine. Moreover, this video guide works for all Netgear Wi-Fi Extender be it EX6120, EAX15, EAX6400, EAX6250, EAX7300, EAX7500, EAX2700, etc. The very first diagnostic step to resolve Netgear Wi-Fi extender not working is to reset it. So plug it into a power source, then put a pin into the reset hole of the extender for around 5 to 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, release the pin and let the extender reboot. After this, we recommend you to set up the extender again. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. If this doesn't work, then make sure your Netgear Wi-Fi extender is plugged in within the range of the router. Kindly note that you should not plug it too far away from the router. The ideal distance should be 20 to 30 feet or less. If you want to take the extender around 50 to 100 feet away from the router, then we recommend you to set it up as an access point mode. We have provided a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it in the description. Next, also make sure you have internet on the router because if you do not, then obviously your Wi-Fi extender won't work. So check for the internet light status on your main router and if you do not have internet on the router, then kindly get in touch with your internet service provider to get this fixed. Next, another magical solution for all the technical problems is to reboot the devices. So we recommend you to reboot your modem, your router and extender for around 2 minutes and then plug them back in and check if this resolves your issue. If not, then check some of the Netgear Wi-Fi extender models have a Wi-Fi extender and access point toggle switch. So make sure that switch is toggled toward the Wi-Fi extender side. Also make sure no ethernet cable should be connected from extender to the router as this can hamper your Wi-Fi extender functionality. Also, if you already have a Wi-Fi extender set up at home and you are setting up a second Wi-Fi extender, then make sure during the setup of your second extender you change its SSID and or network name because if you keep it the same as the first one then the names are going to get conflicted and it won't work. Next if these steps does not resolve your issue then we recommend you to make some changes in your router settings. First thing that you should try changing is your router's channels. So for that you will have to log in into your router and if you do not know how to do it then watch video given in the description and once you are logged in into the router then try changing your router's channels you can change your 2.4 gigahertz channels to 1, 6, 9 or 11 after making any changes on the router make sure you reset the extender once and then set it up again now check if this resolves your issue if not then go ahead and make the second change in the router settings which is your Wi-Fi security type. So sometimes these repeaters do not support the latest WPA3 security type of the modern router. So log in into your router and change the security type to WPA2. Then save settings on the router and then reset the Netgear extender again and then set it up. Now if this also does not resolve the issue then we recommend you to change the SSID and password on the router as sometimes if your SSID and password have any special characters then they might also not be recognized by the Netgear Wi-Fi extender. So watch video given in the description to learn how to change its SSID and password and then again reset the extender and set it up again. But be cautious before making any changes in the password or SSID of your router that are currently connected to the router will get disconnected. So you will have to reconnect them back again. Another solution that you can try is to upgrade the firmware on your router and your Netgear Wi-Fi extender. You can watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. And I'm pretty sure all these steps that I have mentioned 
one of them is going to do the trick for you and your Netgear Wi-Fi extender will start working just fine. So lastly, if you found this video useful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you so much and I hope you have a blessed day.